What's good, Raider Nation? It's your boy, San G, and today I want to talk to you guys about a recent signing that the Raiders just did. Just a couple of minutes ago, it's linebacker Nick Kwiatkowski, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing his name incorrectly. He's a linebacker from the Chicago Bears, and honestly, he didn't play a lot up until last year. He was drafted in 2016 in the fourth round. He didn't play a lot in 2016. He played a little bit more in 2017, but it was a limited role in which he was primarily just used as a coverage linebacker. And then in 2018, he didn't play a whole lot, but in 2019, he got to start and he really showed some of the things he can do. And in this video, uh, later on, I'll actually show, show you guys some of his film just to kind of go over it. Uh, he was definitely impressive in certain parts of his game, um, but just to kind of go back to 2017, he didn't play a lot. You know, he only played about uh, 300 total snaps, but a lot of that was in coverage. You know, about 75% of the time he was playing, it was like on third downs or second and long situations. So he's more of a coverage linebacker. In 2017, he gave up 19 catches on 24 targets, which is about 79% in completion percentage. That's not great, but it's not horrible either, right? It was really his first time playing a whole lot in 2017 um he didn't give up any touchdowns or interceptions uh he's only given up i think one touchdown his whole entire career and that came in 2019 when he was asked to start in 2019 he gave up a total of 25 catches on 34 targets which actually put him at a 73 percent completion percentage which out of linebackers that played like a full-time role right 500 or more snaps uh, that ranked him 12th out of 49 possible linebackers which is actually really good for a linebacker uh, there's one thing this guy can do and that's cover he was a former safety a converted to linebacker right the Raiders have had a couple of those in the past really hasn't worked out for us Isaiah Simmons is going to be a top draft pick and that's exactly what he does uh, well, the Raiders aren't going to get Isaiah Simmons right um, but the linebacker here from the Chicago Bears makes sense right now the final numbers aren't out yet I'm sure by the time this video actually goes up it'll probably be out there Hopefully it's a short-term deal that's not worth more than like $8 million uh, annually. But last year, he really got to play. And when we played him anyways, he kind of stuck out to me. I thought he was a pretty good linebacker. I think that was actually his first game he started. You know, Danny Trevathan went out, uh, who actually did actually recently get signed with the Bears. He was a player that I wanted for, for our Raiders. But, uh, you know, I think it's a great signing. Mike Mayock, John Gordon know what they're doing. Uh, the linebacker class is deep this year. As far as free agency, I know it's not deep as far as like big names, right? Yeah, there's Corey Littleton and Joe Schobert, um, but Nick Kwiatkowski is, is a guy who, for the value and, and probably what we ended up paying him, is going to be worth uh, what the Raiders gave him. Uh, and I do want to say, just because we signed this one linebacker doesn't mean we're out of, of signing other linebackers. Uh, in fact, I've had sources tell me directly that the Raiders are interested in Corey Littleton. Uh, Vic Tafer confirmed it yesterday as well, but the Raiders are 100% interested in him. And for the right price, I think the Raiders are going to go out and actually get him. Um, now, we do need more linebackers. We only have two after this signing, which means if the Raiders go with five or six linebackers, we need four or five more linebackers. And keeping in mind that when the actual preseason starts, week one of the preseason, we'll have 10 linebackers on the roster. So just think about that for a second. We need at least eight more linebackers before the uh, before the season actually starts, at least preseason week one or, or training camp. Um, of course, we'll cut that down to five, but it's going to be interesting to kind of see what the Raiders do in free agency. There's still many, many, many players, linebackers that we're going to target. Uh, honestly, more players will probably uh, be announced by the time you guys are watching this video. So if that's the case, I'll have a lot more videos for you guys, you know, and obviously with the coronavirus and, and all that other stuff, um, I'm working from home for the next next two to three weeks, uh, which is great because that means I'll be making more Raider videos, uh, you know. So um, I want to show you guys some of his film because I think he definitely does things uh, correctly. I think he can definitely be a huge help for the Raiders. So uh, let's just get right into that. All right, you guys, when it comes to Nick Kwiatkowski, the first thing that sticks out for me is his coverage ability. The guy is very good in coverage. He's fast. He's quick. He's a former safety, so it only makes sense. One of the things that I noticed in this pay, play specifically, and this is the play that he's going to get his one and only interception that he had in 2019, you're going to notice that something Pug Hunter does. He lines his guys up 
either over the center or in the A gaps, and then he's going to drop him back. And when I say A gaps, I'll show you guys a play later on. But uh, look at how he's going to drop back, and this is a quick pass. And look how quickly he's able to turn his hips, read the quarterback's eyes, drop back, and intercept the pass. Now, I'm going to show this to you guys in full speed so you guys can just kind of see um, how fast it happens uh, because this happens within like two seconds, right? It's a super quick play. It's a great read by Nick Kwiatkowski, and, and this is why I like him. This is why I think this is a great signing. He does things like this, right? He's able to go in and, and pick the ball off. You guys can watch it here from the uh, all-22 angle. You're going to see him lined up right there, uh, and again, you'll see him drop back, read the eyes, make the play great play there and i want to show you guys a couple other coverage plays all right you guys moving into this next play right here you're going to see nick kwadikowski right there he's playing the inside linebacker spot and keeping in mind that this play here is a zone coverage two-man play which is different than the average zone play or man-to-man -man play right you're playing zone and then you're going to man up a guy depending on the zone you're playing and you're going to see him lined up over Jimmy Graham, who is one of the premier tight ends in this league as far as catching the ball. And he does a good job here, right? He gets in, he hits Graham, he kind of disrupts his route. He knows he's beat just a little bit, but turns his head, which is fantastic because he's able to find the ball, right? And he almost intercepts this pass. He drops it and he knows he kind of let that one get away from him. Uh, but it's still a good play in my opinion. I know people will say he, you know, maybe got beat a little bit. But most quarterbacks will not be able to make that throw. And Aaron Rodgers is one of the best quarterbacks. And Aaron Rodgers is not able to get that throw made, right? There's such a tight window. And it might not look like it was that tight of a window. But that's a pretty tight window, right? Uh, if you throw that ball up a, a little bit too high, um, you know, the safety can, can jump in front of it and pick it off. You throw it too much to the inside. There's there's a safety here, um, but the linebacker plays it perfectly. He almost intercepts it, and I'm, again, I'm sure he wants that one back. You know, his coverage ability, in my opinion, is very, very good. It is something that I like. It is the asset that he has, and I want to show you guys a couple other plays as well. All right, guys, here's another play. You're going to see Nick Kwiatkowski right there. Again, something very similar to Paul Gunther's scheme, right? Gets those linebackers up in those A gaps and then drop them back. And he does a great job out here. I mean, he almost intercepts this pass. And honestly, I'm sure he would love to have this one back. Uh, I love the fact that he turns around and he doesn't just backpedal. Instead, he gets his eyes to the guy and he figures out where the guy's going to go. Now, this is a nice defensive scheme, if you ask me, um, because you're going to see that two guys drop back. And both guys you see here and here are going to double the inside guys, which makes it hard for a quarterback, right? The quarterback doesn't want to throw it to the outside, right? He wants to get the easy completions to the inside. Great scheme drawn up right there. I'll let you guys watch it from the backside. Again, you see Kwiatkowski. I think he's going to come off screen here, but it's still a really nice play. You know, I really love the fact that he's able to line up in the A gaps. Again, Paul Gunther does this right here, this exact formation front, and he... He jumps out of there at the perfect time, and he's able to get back and almost intercept the pass. Now, of course, this isn't, um, it isn't intercepted, but it's still a nice play. He gets his hands almost on the ball. TJ Hawkinson's a really good tight end. He does a good job breaking that up. Now, when you have good linebackers, hence Nick Kwiatkowski here, in coverage, you need them to be able to run sideline to sideline, read the quarterback's eyes. Feel when the receiver is making a cut and be able to run and, and knock the pass out, right? This play is a perfect example of something that the Raiders struggle in, right? Their linebackers, rather this is Tahir Whitehead or Vontez Perfect or somebody else, isn't going to be able to track the ball the way Nick Kwiatkowski does here, right? He tracks the ball and gets his hand on it just enough. Had this linebacker not been able to get his hand on the ball here, this could have been completed, you know? This is very, very close. That would have been completed. And that would have been a first down. This is third down. This is what we need our defense to do. We need them to make these types of plays. And I'm talking about his coverage ability. And I really haven't talked a lot about another part of his game that I at least think he's very good in. And that's blitzing, right? So when he lines up in that A gap and when he is going to blitz, I want to show you some of the things he can do. Now, he's not lined up in the A-gap in this play specifically, but you are going to see him blitz from right there, and he gets a clean shot at the quarterback, and he does a good job. It's an incomplete pass, and it's 100% incomplete because of him, right? He's not showing too much that he's going to blitz, but he blitzes the perfect way, and he's able to get his hands on the quarterback. That's a great job. Here's a great example of that line up in the A-gap 
and, and bring it. You know, the running back tries getting him, and, and he just goes right over him. I mean, that's nasty right there. Uh, that's a great job, you know, and he's really, really good when it comes to blitzing. I really like this part of his game. He doesn't back down. He's tough. He's, he, he plays physical, even though he's not that big. He is a former safety, uh, but he plays tough, right? And, and that's what we need, right? That's what the Raiders need. They need that linebacker that's going to play tough, that's going to want to play physical, not be scared to take a hit, not be scared to, um, you know, maybe take a lineman on or a running back on and go through people, you know, and I really like that about his game. Here's another example of what he can do. Again, this is one of the reasons why I think the Raiders got a really underrated player. I mean, that's a great move right there. It's nasty. The best part of it is he gets his hands on the ball. You know, he's not going for just a sack. Boom, he gets the ball out. Great job on Nick Kodakowski. You know, I'm really enjoying the fact that the Raiders are bringing in smart linebackers. That's what we need. We need playmakers, guys that are smart, guys that are going to go out there and put their bodies on the line. You know, uh, Nick Kwiatkowski is a great signing in my opinion. I really like it. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know why. If not, again, let me know why. I hope you guys all have a great day. Be on the lookout. I'll probably have a many, many more videos, probably two videos throughout each and every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.